you know, last year you tied your top finish with 10th. Um, Matt and Christian seem to be the two, you know, that you kind of look to in terms of leaders on the course. Um, what have you seen from each of them throughout the season and especially um, recently down at Clemson? Yeah, so Clemson, uh, we had a decent showing. We, we won there last year, so it was a little disappointing, finished ninth. But it is a strong field, uh, you know, Georgia Tech and Georgia, uh, you know, Clemson obviously in there. Um, so it was a very, really strong field this year. Uh, Christian did extremely well. He had it to seven under the last day, finished with 66, but he shot, I believe it was 72, 70, 66. Uh, finished in the top 15. Matt uh, struggled a little bit. He had it going a couple of the days, but I think he 72 or 73, 71, 72, uh, I think were his rounds. He had it the three under the final round and uh, had one missed shot that basically caught, you know, uh, caused the triple bogey. So uh, he lost his shots there. But um, they are definitely, you know, Matt has been a source of inspiration for the team the last couple of years, making it to NCAA regionals last year as an individual. Um, that tenth place finish at um, at the ACC championship last year at Old North State was phenomenal for the team, and it springboarded them to where they are now. And they know they can do well within the conference. They just have to they have to show up, and we need four solid scores. And you know, so those the third and fourth and fifth guys that are playing, they need to put up the rounds. Uh, and you know, it's it's something that we just have to really focus and grind out every shot. And in the past, that's something that the team has lost a little bit of focus, especially on 36 hole days when we have a tournament round. That we have to play 36 hole day, 36 holes. It's challenging when you come down in the last nine holes and you've been out there since dawn and you know it's getting near six o'clock and you want to just finish around it's it's making sure you're nourished and and hydrated and making the you know really some um, solid decisions down the stretch to kind of bring home a good score um, what are the challenges of Old North State you played there before obviously um, you know what's what's sort of the, the way you plan to attack it so Old North State is a wonderful golf course uh, for today's standards. It's for the for the guys. It's gotten short, um, and we're actually gonna um, we have one more year there in our contract at Old North State. But uh, looking at other options, the coaches are in the, the conference office. Um, but like with Matt and with Christian, um, they played the course numerous times, so uh, it can have very fast greens and the rough is typically down because it is North Carolina and it's still spring. Um, but it can get windy off of, it's right on, it's right on uh, Lake Baden and it can get fairly windy off of the lake. Um, so some specific holes that filter down or are adjacent to the lake can be really challenging. And depending on the time of the day that we go out, uh, you know, it could be the difference of one hour. It, uh, it can mean a lot in terms of the scoring. And finally, who are you know, the, the, the three and the four of those scores that you kind of need to you know, hopefully move up past 10th this year? You know, who are the guys you're looking to, to, to really you know, help Matt and Christian post that team score? Yeah, so last year we had, uh, he's a sophomore this year, Kevin uh, Peck. He, he's going to most likely make the lineup this year. Uh, he would be one of the, one of the guys. We have uh, Brandon Qual Romani. He's a sophomore as well. They've been um, pretty much the kind of three, four, five guys one in there. And then um, we have, um, so it was Brandon, Kevin, uh, Christian, uh, Matt, and we've Mac. had uh, our Mac Webster, yeah, James Mac Webster. He's been in the lineup, I believe, for all, for all the tournaments throughout the year. So Mac scoring average is uh, just around mid 75s, I believe, and he's been a guy that can put a solid round up. You know, at Clemson, he started off, I think, you know, with the field and with the the conditions. He's he was a little shaky and started off with a over 80 round, but he uh, rebounded with a an even par round. So he's a guy that. 
he can get it done, he can even he can get under par. His length um, should should be able, he should be able to match it. it, it should, he's not extremely long, but in terms of the length of Old North State, uh, the golf course, it should it should work well, and he's an extremely good putter. So, uh, looking for Matt to really or Mac to really step it up, and you know the Kevin and Brandon, uh, if those are the guys that we're going to do qualifying this week, and you know, and we'll have a coach's pick, and we'll we'll see where we are with the lineup. But we can you can uh, know that Matt, Christian, and probably at least two of those guys are going to make the lineup. So we're looking forward to a great event.